I was weighing good, so. So, idolatry. As it's my expertise as an anthropologist of the ancient Middle East, and idolatry is the belief, whether a positive or negative belief doesn't matter, <coughs> that an object has the ability to possess moral, spiritual, ethical powers, and that they can bestow those powers upon human beings through some form of possession. And <coughs> and so the superstitious part of it is the actions taken by an idol worshiper who believes that an idol has power. So, one of the dilemmas in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the well-known, thanks to Mitt Romney running for president back in whenever, that uh, Mormons wear the magic underwear. And I, it's referred to as magic underwear thanks to John Marriott, who was interviewed and came out and confessed that there are magical powers associated with them. And yeah, no, it's idol worship, guys. Plain and simple, Mormons have no excuse, no apologies, no justifications to claim otherwise that it's from God. It is idolatry, it is superstition to treat your magic underwear as magic. And so the paranoia of needing to cover your garments up, the paranoia of always having to wear your garments, otherwise God's going to strike you down with lightning, or any other kind of activities or actions, the, whether women are supposed to wear uh, the bras and, and panties over or under, you know, all of that is superstition because you're treating the underwear as idols to be feared or revered. And so I having worked for the church's beehive clothing in the warehouse, I was able to see the uh, slave labor force uh, making the magic underwear. And I was informed that they do not become magical until the marks are sewn in. And then all of a sudden they're holy and sacred and set apart from the rest of the underwear. And that's what sacred and holy means, set apart. <coughs> and, uh, and so, even though the church has standards of where the marks are supposed to go, the fact of the matter is that since the marks are what constitutes the holiness of the underwear, means that you can have any underwear you want, sew in the marks yourself, and all of a sudden they're holy. And so, yes, I've done the videos where you can wear um, the magic thong. As long as you have the mark, it counts. And uh, I, I don't know, I mean, clearly, I don't think ex-Mormons ever caught on to this. But uh, Mormons definitely don't want to catch on to this. Because, you know, like I said, the church isn't true. And when it's not true, everything they tell you is wrong. That's why I can do a video for every single precept that every single president and leader of the church gives us. Is because they're all wrong. Because their interpretation is wrong. Joseph Smith was Jewish Kabbalist, which means all of the interpretation of his works are supposed to be Jewish Kabbalist interpretations. To put in Christian interpretation, to even put in the claim of Mormon Christian interpretation, you're wrong automatically. You lose any debate and argument to try to justify turning Joseph Smith into a witch. And no, I'm not going to do a thumbnail with Joseph Smith wearing a witch's hat, his hat with a, a rock in it, and wearing the magic underwear. I've got something else planned instead. <laughs>